Happy Monday, everybody, and happy new moon in Gemini. I did post the new moon in Gemini for all signs. You can check that out. It's on my YouTube, my, I'm a, ew, on my YouTube channel. All right, this is a pick a card reading. You pick a card. It's your main energy, but I do pull them all together. Cards are for all of us. And if you're born today, May 30th, I will do your reading next. Okay, if you pick card number one, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady, it may have been, but get ready, things are going to start speeding up, okay? If you've been waiting for um, news of money, um, been waiting to hear from someone, or something official is what I'm thinking too, there is an energy here that you're quickly, uh, something will move quickly, but you're going to have to choose wisely too. There is that energy, okay? So it's more reassessment. So there is some of you that you've been gaining money, working, and um, but you're, there is a sense of exhaustion. So it, it is time to slow down. Things will pay off for you is what I'm picking up. A very quick, fast moving energy is coming. Card number two is the King of Cups. May dealing with you may be dealing with a. This could be a person today doesn't necessarily mean so. I do feel a power couple or um, um, meeting someone. This could be serendipity. You meet your soulmate or someone who is just like like-minded. Like you know, when you just kind of meet someone in the grocery store or something, you start talking and it's like, oh, wow. And you're kind of like, yes, I like that too. Or, you know, there's that sense. So I do feel that energy as well. For some of you, this is facing some kind of truth or you're waiting for some. You're going to hear the truth in a situation. Um, a lot more positive thinking and trust your intuition. You could be in your feelings and this is going to help you be more true to yourself, know what you want, and you're going to start moving forward and more, um, I was going to say financially balanced, but this is more emotionally balanced too. Um, you have advice that you could give, but it's also very valuable. So I do feel that you may be telling people the truth, what you really see and feel as well. This is um, more positivity too. So this is a great energy here. Very intuitive, lots of wisdom and lots of healing, I feel here. So you're doing good. Hmm. Love is coming through too. Matters of the heart. Card number three is Ace of Wands. Okay, so you are seeing the light. There could be a strong epiphany, a brilliant idea. Um, somebody lights up your life today is what I'm feeling too. There's some kind of light I'm picking up here. It's really strong. Um, there's been lessons that have been learned and you're now going to start something new. You're walking away or you're leaving, from, you're leaving something. Um, you're kind of moving forward in... You, you left the turb turbulence, okay? So it's like <laughs> you've been through some turbulence. Now it's a new path. For some of you, this could be traveling, new job, relocation, travel for work too. He'll be planning a trip. So I do feel that um, energy as well, okay? Now let's see. Nine of Pentacles, King of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. Some stress, some anxiety. If you haven't, If you haven't slept well, it's important to get some sleep because some of you could be dealing with a little bit of headache or, um, you know, there's a sense of worry. What do I do? How do I uh, uh, do this? Or is this ever going to happen? Stand your ground, okay? And be a little patient is what I'm picking up. There is a change of direction with work, career, um, maybe even a home, possibility of um, thinking of moving. So I do feel that energy. For some of you, there's things that are going to pay off that you've been doing. There is some rec recognition and reward coming. You may be recognized for something and rewarded. Um, I do feel you're coming into some kind of financial independence. Maybe you pay off some bills. Maybe you pay or something like that is coming through. Money um, is showing up here too. I do see you need to maybe speak up. A lot of thoughts of the future. Wish fulfillment in the future too. And I do see new, new way of making money, new money coming in. So that's looking good too, okay? All right, so that is your reading for today, May 30th, Monday. And check out the New Moon in Gemini uh, video on my YouTube. Have a great day. Happy birthday if you're born today, May 30th. This is a quick and general reading. Solar, solar theme and your wish card and your solar theme is the Six of Wands. Okay, the Six of Wands... I mean, this is a good energy. These are new beginnings. It's a it's a start. 
Okay, so to me, it's like venture out there, um, explore new people, ex uh, new, um, uh, I want to say social networking and also professional networking. Uh, you could be meeting new people. After difficulties, this is a victory. This You'll be successful and following your intuition. This is a good year of moving forward, okay? It's like the world's your oyster, so new beginnings are there. This is a year to start building firmer foundations as well, okay? So firm foundations are important. Anything that's not firm, bang, it's out. You know what I mean? Um, it's just going to start crumbling. It's like building a house of cards. It's going to tumble eventually. Um, I do feel that there's going to be some changes with finances, all right? I do feel that too. Um, there are blessings, financial blessings coming too. You will get out of some kind of debt for some of you that I, I pick up. For others of you, it's like you may not feel that your group of friends or that understand you or that you're, you just don't mesh with them anymore. Uh, they're kind of weird. And I feel that now they're not on your path anymore. So a new social group may be coming through too. A um, lot of support around you. Spotlight, victory. I do pick that energy up. Um, something is still a work in progress and all the hard work you put in is going to definitely pay off. All right. So I do see that energy. It's like a whole focus on working on um, something that will pay off, that will be successful. Okay, you got a lot of options around you and ask for help when you need it too because there's people willing to support and help you as well, running a cause or um, running a business or um, a goal, okay? There are many things that you will walk away from, okay? You're leaving some things behind you. Um, there are people who may be leaving your life as well, but this is something better. You're venturing off to some better energy. There's definitely new beginnings, um, I do feel that um, at times you may feel a little stuck, but this is just altering some things, making adjustments and moving forward. Br brilliant ideas are coming through. You may have to, you may feel like you have to sacrifice some things to get things, but it's going to pay off for you too. Okay, so I do see that kind of energy. It's a time of reassessing and rethinking some things as well. So, yeah, and building firm foundations. And your wish for your soul year is the seven of pentacles. Okay. First of all, I feel disruption um, with this wish. Okay. Uh, for some of you, this is a time of think very carefully, reassess things. Um, it, it can happen unexpectedly when you least expect it, but it could come with delays. But reassessing some things is going to be important. Uh, patience is going to be important. And trust where the universe is leading you with this. Okay. Um, because one thing leads to is another is what I'm feeling here. Okay. Um, wisdom two. All right. Important numbers for your solar year, 16, nine, 12, eight, four, 88, 55, zero, 66, 61, six, and seven. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a blessed soul year ahead and beyond. Everyone else, a wonderful Monday and new moon in Gemini.